शिव सरंभा व्यास शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओम शिवाय गुरव नम ओम श्री अरुणाचलेश्वर शिव श्री गुरदक्षिणाूर्त नम Empowerment of Divine Souls, Amma's most beloved sweet children, welcome all of you. Rudram is the greatest protection armor around your body. whenever we have been to any rudram programs maharudram atrudram any rudram what we have to um, carry with us we have to carry the the greatest treasure of mantra japam along with us to that kind of places we have to carry the mantra japam how much mantra japam we have to carry mother so before 6 months 8 months we have to try to chant every day some uh, particular time certain amount of the mantra japam seva panchakshari how much possible possible you have to do 108 times more possible 500 times if you have enough time 1000 times 5000 times or 10000 times is up to you you have to start from 108 to go to 10000 times also it is up to us our time our interest and karma also i have to allow us no karma never allow to do this kind of things if karma allow us then we are able to do the sadhana with the blessing of the guru and all supreme brahman nothing but guru only supreme brahman is nothing but to guru only okay so this is the way what we have to take to that area suppose you have been to a atirudram or to a maharudram what is your contribution to the universal peace atirudram maharudram sa are not for a particular day for personal uh, things regularly vedic rishis time they did this atirudrams maharudrams and all the this wonderful yagnas for koti rudram what is the purpose for the universal protection this is the time right now is the time all everywhere so many frictions and deaths and challenges and every time this is regular this year next year other year every year it is regular problems are going to be there so people who have some time who have 24 hours time in our 24 hours time you have to spend some couple of hours for the protection of the mankind to do yourself some spiritual contribution your mantra sadhana japam uh, whenever anybody was doing this kind of wonderful yagnas give your contribution of the mantra japam sadhana so last year and we did the last before year we have the pallavi and all the group was standing for this and we did this hanuman ji beautiful mantra japam hanuman chalisa all these things are extremely beautiful beyond beyond beautiful hanuman chalisa parayanam ramo narayana parayanam and um, susudshana mantra japam subramanya swami mantra japam uh, venkateswar swami mantra japam lakshmi narayana mantra japam lakshmi japam all these things are beautiful no so rudram time rudra japam rudram recitation shiva panchakshari mantra japam every day beautiful all of you did so much japa sadhana that is the our our from our side the contribution for universal progress for universal peace to stop so many disasters and the uh, man made disasters and also nature calamities are going to be controlled by this kind of vibrations comes from the mantra sadhana shabda swarupa is rudra what is rudra when we go to the deeply into the according to the sanatana vedic dharma rudra is the shabda the shabda form is rudra mother shall you 
make us to understand more yes children rudra is the shabda form sound form rudra rudra very powerful word the word itself is very powerful rudra the rudra and the rudram rudram is the sound form of the rudra the absolute consciousness he who is formless he who is nameless he who is all pervading he who is the supreme truth that parabrahman that consciousness the paramatma is comes in the form of the sound what is that sound that is the pranavanadam om sound in the mantra mandalam from the mantra mandalam when the vedic rishi sit very quiet and silent area like in the forest under the banyan trees and the peepul trees these are the king trees peepul tree and the banyan tree and these are the king trees no wonderful powerful energies are in this under these trees these are antennas attracting the cosmic energy um, from the shiva or from sri manarayana very powerful so uh, rishi sit under the trees and meditating with the silence and they are going into the inner silence i am not speaking about the verbal silence completely inner silence in that inner silence they heard the sound of pranava omkara from the pranava again they heard innumerable mantras so one of these mantras are the innumerable vedic mantras how many vedic mantras mother ananta vai vedaha veda mantras are uh, infinite mantra innumerable countless what we got in our kali yuga very less mantras we miss lot of mantras in india was occupied by some other kind islam time at that time innumerable scriptures are burnt by the people at that time how much mostly 70 lakhs of the scriptures vedic scriptures are burnt 70 lakhs of the vedic scriptures are burnt by the people i saw i read somewhere this point in, in one but thing i felt very sad saraswati veda saraswati was burnt by that innocent ignorant people that people never get any education even even a regular book also we must not put under our feet any word is no each word any language anywhere we have to respect the seed letters any language anywhere whatever it may be we have to respect the letters of saraswati devi saraswati if saraswati blossom in us we have knowledge we understand what to do what not to do if saraswati consciousness is not working in our heart then this kind of ignorant things are happened and all the scriptures are burnt 70 lakhs of the uh, vedic scriptures are burnt and they enjoy so much okay no problem but when we close our eyes sit in meditation very sincerely and seriously meditate about that omnipresent omnipotent and omniscient the supreme mantra and then you are again able to get all the four vedas also because mantra mandalam is always floating with that mantra only it there is no end for that of course today we have not that much time for the people that kind of ruzvartanam that is the very sincere heart and the thirsty for the spiritual consciousness is compare with the rushis that is little bit less in our hearts uh, so shabda swarupa is the rudra the rudram is nothing but rudra so for example when we go to a shivalingam for a temple what is that i am asking you mother that is shivalingam mother ah uh, what is shivalingam shivalingam is god mahadev okay then somebody brought a beautiful painting and present to me what is that there that is the mahadev painting meditating mahadev painting son what is this this is mahadev picture okay what is mahadev mahadev is god shiva okay beautiful okay then we have go to the arunachalam what is this one what is this mountain this is not mountain mother 
this is Shiva, Shiva himself. It is not mountain. Okay, I understand. Okay, we go to the Kailas, Mount Kailas. What is this mountain? Mother, this is not mountain, mother. This is Mount Kailas, Shankar Bhagavan. Directly Shankar Bhagavan dwells in this in this area. Okay, I understand. Okay. How when we go to the Mount Kailas, Mount Kailas is Shiva. We get the clarification. Arunachalam is Shiva. We get the clarification. Shiva painting is Shiva. Shiva dwells in that painting. We frame that painting and put it in our altar and we are doing the puja for the beautiful painting. And what is the Sivalingam? Sivalingam. Shiva. Rudram is also Shiva. It is not some Suktam. It is not some Vedic hymns. Rudram itself is how the Arunachana mountain is Shiva, how the Mount Kailas mountain is Shiva, how uh, Kasi is Shiva. All the things are Shiva we call now. Similarly, Rudram itself is Shiva. The Sabda form of Rudram is nothing but Shiva. When we do the recitation of the Rudram with the right pronunciation in a devotional way, connected with that Supreme Consciousness in the particular time, morning time, uh, morning 6 to 8 o'clock time is the appropriate time to chant the Rudram or the Abhishekam of the Rudram Lishavaringam. Evening 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock is the very appropriate time for the Shiva Puja. That particular times when we chant the Rudram recitation, Rudram, through the Bija Mantras of this Rudram, all the seed letters, the Divine Consciousness is enter into your mouth, to your body, to all your inner cells. That, that is nectar. You are drinking the nectar of uh, Amrita names. All the uh, immortal Divine Conscious names are in the Rudra. What are the names? Namaste Astu Bhagavan Visveshwaraya Mahadevaya Trayambakaya Tripuram Takaya Trikagni Kalaya Kalagni Rudraya Nila Kantaya Bhuchunjaya Sarveshwaraya Sadha Sivaya Sri Man Mahadevaya Namaha Beautiful names, no? All these names are nectar names, nectar names. Shiva nectar names. In the Rudra Trishati, all the Trishati mantras are nectar names. We are drinking that nectar names by the recitation of the Rudram. What happened? When we are doing that, what happened inside? So much inner transformation comes in the life. Inner transformation. For example, so there is a room. We closed that room. Some water there and some bacteria was formed there because the room was closed and there is no lighting and some virus there and it is not a healthy area. Similarly, we are with the closed hearts. We never meditate. We never think about God. We never do any prayers or any puja or any abhishekam or anything. We are just eating, sleeping and going and coming and doing some regular activities and all the, always in the mundane life, running and running and running and running and running or something. And if somebody was born in our home, we are very, very greatly celebrating their birthday function. And somebody was leaving ourselves and we are so sad and we are send our condolence message and something like that. This is the regularly we are doing in our regular lives. So life is like a train journey or a flight journey. When we first sit in the train, there are so many people are in the train. Fully people with the train, no? Once the next station comes, all the people are just uh, bent down and then it will become little, we get a lot of room there. And second station, more people are get down. Uh, fourth station, more people. Last station, maybe five, six people are remaining there or you yourself only remaining there. What is this? This is a journey. In our journey, so many people are accompanying with us. And finally, in this journey, so many people, when their station comes, they, they just get down and went out. And you finally remain by yourself. Okay, what you are doing by yourself alone sitting? Hold the feet of Rudra, chant his nectarine names and keep your heart with the divine 
immortality. Don't have any anger, jealous, impatience, all these things, no? So many, all these viruses, we don't need all the virus, still in this age also in our heart. When you get 40 years, you get a lot of maturity. If you get 50 years, you need absolutely spirituality. When you finish 60 years, you have to be more noble and gentle and completely you have to turn your heart towards the consciousness. Meditate. You don't know what is the last call from your mouth. What is the last look from our eyes, glance. What is the last uh, vision we are seeing. What is the last food we are taking. We don't know that, what time. So we have to be ready, be prepared and chant God's name, meditate, be always in the true spirituality, true, hundred percent true spirituality. It is not a sharing thing to something to amazing to people can see or some amazing thing comes to us, you share with all the people. It is not that. You have to share all your pains, problems, anything, no, what all your challenges to only one person that is the absolute consciousness, Rudra. Oh Bhagawan, I belong to you. If anybody says, Bhagawan, I belong to you, Bhagawan heard our words. Bhagawan definitely listen what we are saying. If we say really from our heart, he really respond for that word. If you say that word, if all the people are listening or not, it doesn't matter. But he must listen what you are saying. Bhagwan, I belong to you. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Not only in this lifetime. Countless lifetimes onwards, I am waiting for you. Waiting, 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 waiting. Forever and ever I will be, I will be waiting for your sake. So, uh, definitely, your waiting is never going to waste. You will get what you are expecting from that Almighty. It must come to you. That is Rudra. The what is the names we are speaking here? Amrutha names. These names are not the regular names. Amrutani names. These names are the nectar names of the, the Amrutha Mruchinjaya. Oh, Amrutha Mruchinjaya. Your names are Amrutha Mruchinjaya names. Absolutely nectar names. When I chant the nectar names, in my mouth, all the names are going inside. What all the virus and bacteria of my anger, my impatience, my ignorance and my illusion, my all kinds of the dark forces which is dwells in the life, countless, 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 countless lifetimes onwards. I am unnecessary. The heavy matters are carrying in myself and worrying about the useless things. All those things are completely dispersed from my heart. I relax so much, you know. So this uh, Guru Pavnima retreat, we have going to be the Avimukta Sadhana. This is the most Shankar Bhagavan Avimukta Sadhana, which is Vedic Rushis are doing this Sadhana, Avimukta Sadhana. How to reach the highest goal of the Avimukta Sadhana in this lifetime? Absolutely, this is great. Bhagavan have to bless us to be more into the insight. That insight is very, very important. Thousand times, million times, insight is very important. When we do the Rudram recitation, what happened? All the inner impurities are disappear and our heart will become absolutely like Arunachala effulgence. What is Arunachala? Arunachala is only in the Tamil Nadu state. No. Arunachala is all pervading. Entire cosmos is dwells in Arunachala. That Arunachala self-effulgence comes outside of your cell and you are enjoying that absolute light when you do the recitation of the Rudram with the clarity. You need the clarity about yourself. What you actually you are expecting? What is your desires? What is your passion? Is the passion is God? Is your passion is only still in the 
worldly things okay if you want to enjoy those things enjoy whenever you are ready for god can then come then come and seriously do the sadhana seriously do the sadhana very beautiful sadhana is a great great boon if bhagwan wish to do sadhana then you are ready if bhagwan never wishes to do sadhana then we are running in the uh, materialistic uh, world so shall we go to the pilgrimages this is the question sometimes people are asking in the pilgrimage when we go lord everywhere wherever we go in the pilgrimage for example kashi we have been to kashi everywhere shiva namam everywhere shiva everywhere sacred everywhere god god the consciousness we saw experience only shiva in everything on shiva ancient time in the kashi one crore shivalingas are installed in kashi one crore shivalingas so everywhere you no know, in the pilgrimage center you need not remember about god when you walk in the regular uh, roads and in the manhattan uh, shopping and area how can you remember god no it's regular things only no you can't remember god when you are walking in the regular areas are we remember about god in those areas never because god is dwells in the pilgrimages those are so sacred energy centers india pilgrimage centers are not the regular temples not like that unbelievable energy in the temples vedic rishis salban temples are there very powerful salban temples when we go and stand in front of that if you do 1000 years of your tapas is in 5 minutes you get the relaxation all your heaviness will be disappear from your mind you relax so much that much of mental stress and going for counseling is not necessary when we go to a temple five minutes when we stand in front of that divine altar all our mental pressure and all our depression everything will disappear so for example when we do the rudra japam or shiva panchakshari japam for example i don't know rudram how to do the rudram recitation i am not an educated person what i have to do okay i need not worry about it I suppose all of you are doing rudram very great i don't know rudram it is not rolling on my tongue and i was so suffering so much i need not worry at all about that i have go through the shiva panchakshari mantra the gist of the rudram because vedam is like a beautiful mango tree is et- et- eternal mango tree from that eternal mango tree uh, the gist of that uh, uh, tree was we have the fruit what is that fruit the mango fruit one fruit the fruit is the rudram in the fruit there is a juice what is that juice seva panchakshari is that juice we get that juice by chanting of this japam so do the seva panchakshari mantra how many times i have to do mother children it is up to us children suppose we have time we can start with 24 uh, times if we have more time 54 times more time 108 times more time more uh, like on god 1000 times easily we can do suppose if i have more time because everybody was chanting so many mantras i can't i am not an educated person i don't know how to chant all the vedic mantras so what i have to do then i have to do the seva panchakshari mantra not only 1000 times i have to go to 5000 times more than 10000 times also at least for a day I, when i do 10000 times of the shiva panchakshari mantra i can spend my time for that that nectar the divine nectar the self effulgence completely cured all my materialistic diseases in myself all my passions all my ignorance all my impatience all those things are completely disappear i got 100% tolerance i can tolerate and tolerate and tolerate and tolerate in my life children i tolerate only i just live in tolerance only so many times uh, some helpless conditions comes in the world some children are giving hard time and helpless conditions that time i was tolerating tolerating completely silence 
I remain in silence, not speaking anything. I just tolerating only. So that is only the uh, just a simple word Shiva. Any problem comes, I just say Shiva. Auspicious light. What is Shiva? Auspicious. That auspicious light, which is nameless and formless and consciousness and truth and benediction and the nectarine divine consciousness, I think Shiva give more tolerance. So that is his responsibility to give the tolerance and patience. Tolerance and patience comes to you automatically. Very beautiful. So before finishing this um, uh, talk, I have to give a small gist of a small story. Uh, the power of the Rudram, there was a king. Uh, he had one son. His son was not a good son. The boy was all the time going towards the girls and dancing and all the... Not, not okay. So that time, uh, they are seeking some alliances for him to for marriage. In a village, there was a girl. She was all the time doing Svapanchakshari from the childhood onwards. Her father was passed away. Mother was in the bedridden and she also going to give up her body in a couple of months or days. She was bedridden. Then uh, people convinced her and then finally she married the, two, uh, the boy. The boy was uh, not with the good righteous habits, running all the way towards the girls and so he never cared about One day he, he came to see her. When he opened the door of her room, he was not able to enter into her room itself because like a fire, no? Fire accidents comes time, all the room was with, completely with the fire. We are not able to enter into that room because of the fire heat, no? That kind of radiance comes from that room because of her Siva Panchakshari Maha Mantra Japam. He was not able to approach herself. So whenever he wanted to go to her, he was not able to reach herself. So because of that effulgence of Siva Panchakshari Shakti, throw him away all the way, some miles together. He was run away from herself. Wherever there is a purity, there is no room for impurity there. So he was never able to approach herself because of her divinity and the purity. So that is the Siva Panchakshari glory and the power. Whenever you chant Siva Panchakshari, inside your heart is completely purified. All your impatience and all your uh, any any kind of these viruses are never going to remain there. So that's why I inspire all of you chant Sivapan Chakshari Mantra with the heart, not with the mala counting. Don't see the counting. Bhagwan will do the counting. He will take care of the counting. So some couple of hours you have to sit. It will take two hours or one hour like that. Some thousands of times Mantra Japam is going. So you have to do like that. Chant mantra with the heart, with the love and Bhagavan's feet. You can see the Chidambar Nataraja feet with the jingling sound of the uh, anklets, the beautiful, like a lotus feet. You can see the feet with the beautiful decoration of the red painting. Dancer, no, he's a dancer, no, Bhagavan. So you can see that a divine feet of Bhagavan. You can felt his presence in front of you in your heart. I am expecting from my children experiences of this consciousness. So this is not sharing something with us like regularly you are sharing something on your phones. It is not that. You have to go and share everything with Bhagwan, what all the problems you have and meditate well. That is your mother's expectation from her beloved children. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. I am really expecting your enlightenment, your spiritual elevation, your spiritual progress. That is the purpose of our life. So that's why when this kind of things people are not attracting uh, spiritual things, no? Uh, who is going to do all the sadhana and everything must disappear. People like some people are fascinated towards the spiritual things. Who is the real 
devotees and the real seekers of the waiting for Bhagawan, those people are really fascinated towards this, not all. I love you so much any, anyway. Uh, let you have to start your sadhana. Uh, Pallavi, start the uh, Siva Rudram, Siva Rudram recitations, Siva Pachakshara Mantra Japam as soon as possible for the next year January 15th later we have the Atirudram program for the universal peace. So definitely we have to give our contribution for the universal peace, uh, the Mantra Japam and also Siva Pachakshara Sadhana. So whatever, how much possible, start right now and inspire all the children. Uh, then definitely do something from our hearts for, the, uh, for this beautiful world. So many people are suffering in the hospitals. So many people are suffering in the prisons. So many people are civilians are suffering in the homes, financial challenges, lot of commotions, unrest in their homes. And so many damages happen to the world. Wars one side, and people have no food and no water, and so many problems, see all the things. So definitely do the prayers for the universal peace and for the progress of our world. I love you so much. Thank you. Om Swasti Prajabhya Paripalayantam Nyayena Margena Mahi Mahi Saham Go Brahmane Bihasubhamastu Nityam Lokan samasta sukino bhavantum, Lokan samasta sukino bhavantum, Lokan samasta sukino bhavantum.